The House Episode 3, VTR number 7952, Part 1. Fifteen seconds. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Pass it, pass it. No, no, not to him, he's on the other side, you big... Oh. 150,000 pounds and he's playing like Long John Silver. Football, is it? No, nothing like it, it's Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they playing against? Spurs, two lines from the referee, and I'm sure he's Bill Nicholson in disguise. <laughs> a penalty ref, it must be! Yes! Oh. <laughs> you watch this, watch this, watch the way... <laughs> Chrissy, the plug! Sorry. Anyway, you don't live in Southampton anymore. You should support a London club. Just because a man moves home doesn't mean to say he changes religion. Now, come on! Come on! Oh, ha oh, oh, great! Oh. They don't move very fast, do they? That's a slow motion replay. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, all the rest of his team are raping him. Look, Chris, Chris, will you please go out and talk to Joe, please? She's out with her boyfriend. There's a difference between natural enthusiasm and rape. That's probably what she's saying to him right now. Let go of it, let go of it. And that. <laughs> He's got this flashy little sports car. The horn plays Colonel Bogey in stereo. Foul! No, that's not my taste either. <laughs> See that? Look, look, look! He's nearly pulling off his shorts. Oh, will they do a slow motion replay of that? <laughs> Well, he just pulled up in his sports car. <coughs> He's helping her out. <laughs> oh, she flashed a bit of leg there. <laughs> Come away, you dirty little devil. <laughs> I'm just showing a neighbourly interest. Oh, you yeah. Oh, hey. They're on the front doorstep now. <laughs> She's turning to him. He's reaching out for her. <laughs> He's shaking her hand. <laughs> Oh, dear, he's shaking her hand. Perhaps he's trying to find out if she's a mason. Come away! <laughs> you'd think he'd have tried for a bit of a snog, wouldn't you? <coughs> George, if you're that interested, I've just finished a chapter. What? Where Armina, the slave girl, is being oiled by the eunuchs in readiness. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> Fancy an early night? <coughs> well, I was... <coughs> yes, I was thinking we might have a sort of game of Monopoly. What do you think? Exactly. <laughs> well, what's he like? He's a gentleman. You don't often read them these days, but David is a real gentleman. Oh, well, can't win them all. No. You know, he took me dancing. The real thing is seen on television. You mean Ethel is a bus driver and sewed all the sequins on by hand type dancing? Yeah. Joe, Joe, do you mind? Please, please. Oh, sorry. Then he brought me home, shook my hand. What, before or after? <laughs> oh, instead of. You mean he didn't try to... No. 
Well, surely you must have put... What, not even a little bit of... No. He's bent. No. <laughs> He's just shy, that's all. With a Colonel Bogey Belter horn? Well, his mother bought him that for his birthday. Thought it might help to bring him out a bit. Jo, 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 you know, you have a really delicious bottom. And normally I can't think of anything else I'd rather look at. But do you mind, please? Oh, right. Are you sure he's just shy? Oh, yes. Just takes some men a while to get going, that's all. Yeah, I went out with a chap like that once. The first time, nothing. The second time, nothing. The third time, it was like King Kong meets Godzilla. <laughs> Perhaps it's me. Look, maybe I'm losing my sex appeal. Oh, come on. Is this the same girl who once turned down a date with Tom Jones? Well, actually, I lied about that. Well, I know, but it showed self-confidence. <laughs> yeah, but look, tell me honestly, am I sexy? Well, not to me, no, but then I'm not a fella. Go and ask him. Offside, Rev. Miles offside. What's the matter with that? Come on, don't bother talking to your lines. When ask your guide dog, you please. <laughs> what? What? Not at the moment. We're two one down. Well, do you think I'm sexy? What? Do you think she's sexy? Huh? Sexy! Me! I tell you, I lost after you. Every fibre of my being craves your crest and I shut up the taking a corner. Typical. If you'd scored a goal, it'd be all over you. Well, that's it. Whatever it takes to turn a man on, I don't have it. What turns you on? Oi! Hey. Uh, 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 being, being tickled on the back of my ear. Like this? Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Oh. You see, different things, <laughs> different things work for different people. Oh. That's the way you catch trout. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he's got some trout blood in him. Oh. <laughs> no, he's having you on, that's all. Oh. It's good. He is a you know. Who's, who's what? Who's scored? What? Long John Silver. I told you it was good. I told you it was good. Now, come on, come on. We've got five minutes to go. We can win this game. I saw the final score in the paper. I don't want to know. All right, all right. I won't even tell you when the replay is. Good, because I... <laughs> Thank you very much. Two all. Right, we've got his attention. Now, what about Joe's problem? Look, I don't know anything about boyfriends. I mean, I've, you know, I've never had one in my life before. Listen, I mean, what do you want him to do? Nothing. Yeah, but that's exactly what he's doing. Well, he could try, couldn't he? Yes, at least it would show he was interested. Oh, I see. I mean, you know, would he, uh, would he succeed if he did? No, of course not. We want to ask football. <laughs> that would help you, are. Listen, why should I help you trap a poor, innocent young fellow, eh? He's a Spurs supporter. Right. Into a dinner for two, right? <laughs> Candlelight, low music, or he'll be carried away. The way she cooks, he probably will. Yes, that is true. <laughs> On the other hand, you're an expert. Oh, no, come on, be fair, Chris. I've enough, you know, cooking at the technical college. Now, be fair. If I tell you something you don't know, will you do it? I am not interested. The score was 3-3 after extra time. I failed to see what that's for. What? <laughs> An anchovy paste. You'll need some anchovy paste. Um... Oh, yes. Used by March the 1st, 1972. I'll put it on the list. Look, it's no good. I can't cook this for a muck. There's only one thing I can cook. It just doesn't go. Candlelight, wine and Marmite soldiers. <laughs> well, can we ask Robin again? <laughs> well, just a minute. Look, we've got to get that lock fixed, you know. It's all right. I'm not after you, rubber duck. Yeah. Now, David is coming for dinner tonight. Listen, I'm not cooking for your boyfriends. Come on, there'll be no end to it. You're mean. And your suds are getting a bit thin. Just there. <laughs> you think you've got me at a psychological disadvantage, don't you? Yes. Listen, I could get you out of this bathroom just by standing up, just like that. Bluff. Yes. Sorry, could you um, pass me that? Uh, oh, can you pass me that loofah, please? <laughs> or, to put it another way, yeah. how do you like the smell of this perfume? <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit powerful. If I tip this in your bath water, you'd smell of roses and jasmine for weeks. <laughs> I see, now you're bluffing, aren't you, eh? Well, waste it. See if I care. I don't care if I smell of roses. Oh, oh, no, I'm it! <laughs> now, come on, that's, that's blackmail. Oh, what a sneaky idea. 
well done. Now, come on, girls, let's be civilised. I'll tell you what I'll do. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. Look, I, look I, you know, I'll give you a couple of tips, right? And then you can say that you... Oh, 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 oh don't cook it, I'll cook it! Oh, oh isn't that nice? <laughs> but under protest. <laughs> well, what shall I get you from the shops? <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Rowe. Hello, dear. You wanted to borrow some wine glasses? Oh, Joe did, yes. Well, you don't get the bouquet in a jam jar, do you? <laughs> and uh, I thought I might bring some cutlery up, you know, seeing as it's a special occasion. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I won it, a bingo. All in all, it only cost me 400 quid. <laughs> hey, do you know what's up at the Asaldo tonight? Oh, yes. Oh, hang on, what was it? Oh, yeah, I remember. It's a sensitive story of the dawning relationship between a young girl and a simple farm lad and how they keep having it away. <laughs> I don't think I'll bother. Oh, damn, and if you're at a loose end, why don't you pop down and have a drink with us? Be nice to see a human being for a change. Oh, honestly, it's so fussy. How can you tell if wine vinegar is a good year? <laughs> Look, why don't you be Robin and all? I mean, tell him it's nothing special. Just come as you are. Oh, we start naked in the bath. Oh. Well, we'll be an informal evening. <laughs> Hang on, I'll ask him. All right. Hey, have you got anything on tonight? Well, just a minute. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Roast pork perigodine, my speciality. Oh, what a lovely smell. Thank you very much. Roses and jasmine. <laughs> Shut up, will you? Just remember that you're taking the credit for this meal. Only if he likes it. Do you think there's enough? What is he, a gourmet or a gannet? <laughs> you have put the wine in the fridge, I suppose. Yes. Take it out, it's red. How's it going? Oh, fine, if you like Beaujolais on a stick. Honestly, <laughs> she knows absolutely nothing about gastronomy. Oh, yes, I do. I'm a Capricorn. What? Don't try and work it out. She's just overexcited. Ooh. Look, I know, I know. I've had three bars already to try and get rid of the smell. My toenails have gone soft. I did offer to help. I don't want to be rubbed down by a pan scrubber. Thank you. Well, pretend it's aftershave. Yeah, lots of men wear aftershave like that. They have special pubs for them. Right. That's it. Out, out, out. I can't cook in front of hecklers. Go on. I've been sorting through the records. A doll of a Burt Baccarat to get him in the mood. Michel Legrand to take it a stage further. Oh, and in case he looks like getting too carried away, the Foden's Motorworks Brass Band. <laughs> Do you think the light should be a bit lower? No, let the dog see the rabbit. Now, this is just a cosy dinner for two, you know. I'm not on the menu for afters. Of course not. Hey, do you want to buy my perfume? I don't have to. I've been standing next to him. <laughs> right. Now, listen. The roast pork will be ready to serve in about 20 minutes, right? And with it, you'll be having baby Hungarian marrows and pomitra de hotel. No chips? <laughs> you don't deserve me. You really don't deserve me. Come on, if you're here in a minute. Uh, don't forget to tell him that the pate is homemade, right? It's not shop bought, right? right. Uh, oh, uh, and the cream, it's fresh. It's not out of a packet, it's fresh. Yeah, we made the tables and chairs ourselves. Now, come on. <laughs> I'd rather have gone to the pictures. Still, you know, I suppose, you know, the ropers, they get a bit lonely and it's only sort of neighbourly that we should give them a little bit of young company. Yeah, you mean we owe them a month's rent? Yes, that's what I mean, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, what are we going to talk to him about? I mean, has he, has he got any hobbies? Oh, yes, he's the foremost authority in this country on cocoa tin labels. Collect them. I think I prefer to go to the pictures. <laughs> Hello, dears. How oh, lovely to see you. Come on in. There we are. You know, George, of course. Hello, Hello. Chrissy. Evening. And Robin. Here, look, sit down. I've got to pop out to the kitchen and get us all a nice glass of sherry. Yeah, thank you. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. What? 
But, you know, I might... I might, you know, I must say, you've, um... You've got a very nice, uh... <laughs> got very nice... Oh, got very nice budgie. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Does he talk? No. <laughs> no. We used to have a goldfish. Didn't the water keep coming through the bars? <laughs> no. We kept him in a bowl. <laughs> he didn't talk much either. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I, I believe you, you collect cocotin labels, eh? No. <laughs> Why? Do you? No, 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 I don't. Uh, not a lot of people do. No. <laughs> It's the one about the goldfish not talking very much. <laughs> oh, that's very good. That's very good, that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I say. Hmm? She's wearing a very powerful scent, isn't she, that one? <laughs> <laughs> there is an explanation, Mr. Roper. Yes, I'm sure. <clears throat> Anybody fancy a game of Monopoly? <clears throat> The lights fused. <laughs> there we are, and well, that's 150,000 francs each. I've never seen a French Monopoly set before. Oh, we bought it on our honeymoon. <laughs> it was something to help pass the time. <laughs> as far as I can recall, you never passed go the entire fortnight. <laughs> I'll start first, cos it's my game. <laughs> hey, you start from there, see? Where it says depart. That's French for depart. <laughs> or go. <laughs> two. One, two. Yeah, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. Oh, no, actually, you, you can't buy the community chest. Oh. He can, dear. He's built hotels on it before now. <laughs> Take a card. Yeah. <laughs> Ali's in prison. Avance says toot, throw it in prison. Paz says pass parlor case, depart. Near reservoirs, pass 20,000 feet. Yeah! Oh, what a second prize in a beauty contest. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, <clears throat> actually you, you go to jail. Oh, I knew it's one or the other. Ooh. Six. Whereabouts did you go for your honeymoon? Would you believe Dunkirk? <laughs> He's been on the retreat ever since. Give me your glasses, dear. Oh. That's it. Oh, right. She's got a big mouth, she has. You could get both hands in there and still have room to wine wall. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, double six. <laughs> I'm out of prison. Hey, you're getting the luck. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Chance. <laughs> Alley's in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, how do you think they're getting on upstairs? Oh, it's a thin ceiling. We'll hear if there's two pinfalls or a submission. <laughs> oh, Avenue de la République. I'll buy that. <laughs> is he nice, this young man? Well, you've seen him. What? David. Uh, uh, what's his name? Who? His father owns a drapery shop in the high road. What? Bloomstein's 
it's woolens. Yeah. Oh. Blumsteins. You mean he's, uh, he's Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> Ham and bacon patty. Ham and bacon? Yes, it's homemade, not shop bought. Oh, the wine. I don't know. I've never drunk it. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't talking about the wine. It's... Oh, you finished already. Oh, very nice. Can I pour the wine for you? Oh, thank you. It's a good job the main course is ready. I hope you like roast pork. <laughs> roast pork? Yes, there's plenty more in the oven. <laughs> oh, help yourself to veg. Excuse me. Oi, vey. <laughs> Roast pork and he's Jewish. It could have been worse. You could have given him pig strotters and custard for afters. <laughs> hello, 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 Joe. It's Robin. Listen, how's the meal going? Rapidly. What, you mean he's eating it? Yes, why? What's wrong with it? No, 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 that's all right. If he's eating it, that's all right. How's the rest of it going? Has he made a pass at you yet? <laughs> no, he hasn't. If you like, I'll leave the phone off the hook and shout a running commentary. <laughs> Sorry, that was my flatmate. I... Very nice. Seven. One seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, Champs-Élysées with hotel. That'll cost you 150,000 francs. Oh, I'll have to borrow the money from the bank, love. George, I've already advanced you 500,000 francs on your get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> I see. This is a point where he usually knocks a board over. <laughs> well, it's mostly luck involved in this game. Oh, no, I disagree. No, I think there's a lot of skill involved. In fact, quite a lot of... quite a lot of... well... Luck too. Well, mainly luck, really. <laughs> Stupid foreign game. No, we haven't finished playing yet. I think we have. Oh. Uh, would you like another drink? No, we must be going now. It's only half past nine. Oh, as late as that. <laughs> oh. Listen, thank you very much. Go for a lovely evening. Oh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I fell asleep a little earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're quite welcome to stay and watch him sulk, if you like. <laughs> no, that's very kind of you, but thank you very much. Well, we must do this again sometime. Why? <laughs> not. <laughs> Why not? We must. Yes. Good night, Mr. Roper. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Ooh. I've never had so much fun since I had the mumps. <laughs> he cheated, you know. Listen, how can you cheat at Monopoly? He had a railway station up his sleeve. <laughs> hey, do you think we'll be interrupting anything? Oh, we'll make a bit of noise before we go in. You can stop being tactful because he's gone. Oh. Well. Well what? Oh, uh, the bulb's gone. How did it go? Did you have a wrestling match? Yes. And? He got away. Oh. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Did he whisper sweet nothings? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't hear for his stomach rumbling. Yeah, I think I... Uh, I think I know why. <laughs> Bacon and ham patty. <laughs> Roast pork pig. <laughs> 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 <laughs>